Hello YouTube friends, Crystal here from Galaxy Finds, and I have a haul. Of course I have a haul. <laughs> um, I did this haul almost two weeks ago and I have not looked at it since, so it'll be a mystery to all of us and be a good time. Um, I usually separate my hauls, like vintage and modern, but I like, I did not have time. I've been like crazy. Going through my office, I pulled like a bunch of pieces for a show I was supposed to do on Sunday, but then it got rained out, so I just have this mound of stuff that I like I do not want to even look at anymore. But this haul just got buried and I was like, oh well, maybe I'll show what I got. So um yeah, let's let's check this out. I'm gonna start in here. I don't even know what I'm starting with. Okay. Pair of Zara pants. They are this like, they have this like weird uneven hem in the front. Usually in the back it's called a step hem, but I don't know what it's called in the front. But um, it does, does it? Oh no, it doesn't have the item number in it, so I'm gonna really have to look and see if I can find this piece. It's the Zara woman tag shown here. You guys know I love picking up Zara. <laughs> Here, okay, so this this skirt is vintage. Um, it's like denim on the top, and then like, like animal print on the bottom. It's got like a split side. I don't know if somebody like sewed two skirts together, or if this, it says it's by Jerry Lee, which I've seen that tag before. I'm um, pretty sure it has a flaw. Oh yeah, it's missing the button but buttons are easy to replace um yeah it's uh it's got paper tag paper tag is very worn i can't even tell what the size is but it's probably small it's cute everything's always cute right <laughs> it's a modern piece okay these are they're aloe yeah aloe yoga pants they are like the purple and gray color block and they have like this nice stretch waist I don't think the size tag is intact but they look like a small I will put measurements but these are really pretty uh, next what are you hmm. oh it's a new tags airy top won't get me big money but It'll probably be a quick flip. It's a size small. The original price is not on it, so it means it was probably bought online. And the it says it's from 2013, but I mean it's new with tags. It's just a basic. It's not like this go goes out of style. It's kind of like a peplum. And good for back to school, I think. I start listing that back to school stuff. All right, so I found these vintage Lee jeans. This is their 16 Petite. Um, I was going to try them on to see if they fit me. I have not tried them on yet. Um, they look like they are definitely smaller than a 16, so that's why I thought maybe they fit me. If not, I will sell them. Um, yeah, I mean, they're technically a plus size. Uh, in the pockets, they have like all these positive affirmations like, you are glamorous, you are sexy, you are stunning. All right, all right works for me. Um, I got two pairs of them actually. <laughs> so this one says, a, yeah, it's a 16 short. The other one said petite. I don't know if, like what the difference is, but they look like the same pants. So see if either of those fit me. If not, all right. This, oh, these were, <laughs> I got these because these were super Y2K. Even though I hate Y2K, they are selling like crazy right now. Look how low rise these pants are. Like, if I were to wear a pair of pants this low, my entire butt would be out. Um, they're very strange. They're by Grey Ant. They look very weird. Like, so they have like a zipper here. I think this is the back. Or is it the back? I can't even tell which is the back. Um. There's a big tag that says four on it, so I assume there are four. Um, but yeah, super, super low rise. Like, think 
Christina Aguilera in the dirty video. They are low rise. So we'll see how those do. This needs a big cleaning, but I think it's like a like an army shirt. Like it's got all like the printed information up here. It's just like a khaki shirt, but it does have some staining. Um, I don't know if I might do some like DIY with this or what. We'll see. Let's see if I have time for that. Uh, these are a pair of Y2K Z Cabrici corduroys. They are also like very low rise, I believe, and they are like a flare. Um, no, the kids want to wear low rise now. I don't. Low rise was never flattering on me and I was so happy when low rise went out of style and here we are again low rise not fun all right these are a pair of Victoria's Secret sleep pants they are new with tags they're actually size large so I was like hmm if I can't get much for them maybe I'll just keep them but do I really need another pair of pajama pants no no I don't <clears throat> Alright, these are a pair of like workout yoga pants, but they have this pretty like peacock leaf on both sides. Uh, the brand is Synergy Organic Clothing, they're size large. I personally do not wear like light colored workout pants because then you can see if I have a sweaty butt. There, I said it. We don't need to see that. <laughs> being real with you guys. Um, this is Bowden. It's like a Swiss dot. That's what we call it. Uh, style. The sleeves are sheer. The middle is not. Um, it's a size US 2. So it's kind of like, like a loose fitting, not like a super tight. So we'll see. Look that up. We are... Oh, this is a vintage feels cashmere looks very like the sleeves look really long and the torso looks very short so i don't know if this was shrunken but we'll do some measurements here's the tag it says angel lane full fashioned bermuda's angel lane so i mean bermuda it's cool they like the color it's pretty there's no other tags so we'll have to make up a size for that um Oh, uh, this is like a 90s vintage, like it's very, very wrinkly and unbuttoned right now, but it's like button front midi skirt. It's got all of these like leaves and flowers. It's just from Sag Harbor, but it's a size large, but these, this kind of skirt on Depop for me, like when I post these like floral 90s skirts, like I get tons of likes on them, so. I'm not mad at that. What are we here? Uh, another American Eagle. Black, like, floral top. I think American Eagle does do well at, like, back to school time. Because, you know, it's like a teenager brand. Even though I still wear American Eagle. <laughs> it's, uh, technically a teenager brand, I think. Um, it is from 2018, so it's not that old. It's just wrinkled. It's in really good condition, though. It's kind of long. It's an extra small, though. I don't know if I said that, but yeah. <laughs> These, okay, this is a, the brand called Ohm Girl, which is like a yoga thing, but it's like a little skirted boot cut yoga legging. I thought these were super cute. These are medium. I mean, I do well with the athleisure athletic stuff too, even though like I mostly sell vintage, but I do like to pick up athletic wear because I wear a lot of athletic wear. <laughs> Let's see, you are, this is, I don't know if this, is this men's or women's? Oh, this is women's, it's a size four. This is a vintage women's button-up shirt. It's got shoulder pads, it's got this like little pattern on it. It does have like a little spot somewhere. Maybe I'll soak it, um, it doesn't look, it's by B-R-E-E-C-H-E-S, breeches, breeches. 100% cotton made in the USA. Basic. Not bad. Uh, this is Harlow and Graham. 
Jam. That sounds familiar. Um, is that Stitch Fix? It's just like a basic midi skirt. It's navy blue. It's kind of nice. It's kind of like a stretch. This is the tag. Harlow and Graham. I want to say Stitch Fix, but it doesn't have size. Or does it? Oh wait, no size, extra small. Okay. Yeah, it's a good basic. This is another new with tags item. This is Sparkle and Fade, which is from Urban Outfitters. It's just everything is super wrinkled. Plus, um, I think this is like a shirt dress, like a tunic shirt dress. It's basic. It's at it retailed for fifty nine dollars. I'll probably get like twenty for it, but it's cute. Um, yeah. So my my steamer broke broke a while ago. So, let me show you what I'm using. I know that you'll, I'll probably get flack for this, but I've been using this downy wrinkle releaser. And I'll just spray the item and let it hang overnight and then the wrinkles are out. It does have a scent, but it's not strong at all. Like, I think there's more scent if you were to use a dryer sheet. Like, plus I let it like air out anyway. And the scent is not bad. I know that people are sensitive to scents, but I think I'd rather take my chances and then have like something look like a wrinkled piece of trash when I try to photograph it. So I don't know. I'm really bad with like fixing things. So I j it's just been sitting here in the corner. <laughs> like it's literally like a coat rack right now. It's really sad. Okay. So this is a brand that like never sells for me, but I could not pass up this dress. It was, it's so pretty. It's like a halter. It's like patchwork sort of. But it is BCBG Max Azria. Like, historically, this brand does not sell for me. But I just, oh, I mean, come on. This dress is so pretty. This is my size. I would probably wear it. But it is a two, so therefore, not my size. What are we here? Like, I have no idea what I'm pulling out. I'm like, is this vintage? Is this modern? What the heck did I buy? I don't even... Oh, <laughs> these are pants. <laughs> I was thinking it was a shirt. Okay, so these are like um, harem pants. They have like the super, super low crotch, like think below the knees crotch. And it has like these like kind of embroidered, I don't know. And, oh, these are pockets. Uh -huh, okay. Um, the brand is Tribe Azure. It's 100% rayon made in India. I don't know, I've seen people wear these, like, harem pants. Looks like a small... doesn't have a size. Looks small, though. But, yeah. You know, that's what you're into. Mm, let's see. Aster the label. That... Does that revolve? I don't know. It's very wrinkled, but it is just like a basic gray dress. Aster the label size medium it's just got like a raw hem it's got pockets it's, it's like a shift dress that's pretty all right here's a brand that i've actually never found before but i, I want to say it's revolve finders keepers it's just a really pretty basic top it's like sheer blue with like a cream collar um size two yeah, I don't know what what it goes for. See, I don't I don't do comps on any of this stuff, so because I get it so cheap, so I just kind of I I go I'm going for speed. Like I picked all this stuff up in less than half an hour, I think. So if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't know. Um, it yeah. So this is Zara. It's like a oversized boxy shirt. Like, you can see on me, who wears, like, a large, extra large, that it would probably fit me. Um, so it's one of those, like, super oversized. And it does have the tag on it. So, if you don't know, I haven't mentioned this in a while. I know, my camera sucks. But <laughs> there, there are usually three numbers. Like, it'll be a four-digit number, a three-digit number, and then another three-digit number. And they have slashes in between them. Just go to Google, type in Zara, 
type in the four digit number slash three digit number slash three digit number search and that item should pop up if it's not super old so i have had a few items that have not shown up but for the most part they do all right here's another brand that i don't always pick up but i like the style it's just a denim shift dress with long sleeves and i feel like this could be a good fall piece um but that's yeah it's french connection french connection sells for a lot of money in the store does not retail re resell for very much but they do have nice pieces this is six so, and it's stretchy too so that's a good piece i think i think that's a good staple piece to have but who knows <laughs> so this is i want to see a 90s or y2k vintage like tunic top the brand is Talk of the Walk. It has a paper tag. It says that it was made in Canada. It is a size small polyester spandex. I don't know. I just thought it was a cool design. Yeah. That was cool. And it's got kind of like gold shimmery parts in it. It's kind of flashy. But, you know. Alright, this one, I don't know this brand. It's Daniela Corte of Boston. I find a lot of, like, boutique Boston brands. Because I'm near Boston. But it's like a wrap, silky, like, kimono, almost. But it's got these, like, floral like, patches. I don't know. It is small. It is 100% silk. I just thought it was really pretty. Definitely not as pretty when it's very wrinkled, but can't do anything about that. Uh, this is Studio 412. I don't know what it is, but it's just like a um, velvet, like crushed velvet shift dress. It's like a neutral grayish beige color. It's a medium. Never heard of the brand, but seem like a good style. Let's see. Another new with tags item. $68. Yeah, okay. So this is another BCBG. But it's just like a cute little striped tank dress. It's like browns and blues. This would be cute with like a brown jacket over it with some boots. Very stretchy. Size extra small. Uh, let's see. Almost at the end of this bag. And there's another bag. I know. I know. I'm hope I hope you guys are here for this nice long haul. This is like a strapless mini dress with all these little buttons down the side. Um, is it free people? Yes, yeah, free people. Size small. Yeah, I don't. Let me see. Is it linen? It feels like linen. Oh come on. I hate it when the tags are cut out. Okay, yeah, it's 55% linen, 45% cotton. And it does have an OB number, so I should be able to look this style up pretty easily. And that is why I always pick up free people if it's super cheap, because it is so easy to list. Because if that OB number is there, you're golden. You look that up, it tells you everything you need to know about that piece. Um, this... I have no idea. This is very vintage. It's Sarah May lingerie. Um, it's, inside out. It, it's very flawed, but I. It was so pretty. Okay, oh, it is inside out. I feel like somebody needed to save this because okay, it's like a tutu skirt. Maybe it's like a like under slip or something. But look at it's like embroidered floral all around, and it's like this polka dot. It's got two layers, but the top of it is in very rough condition. So I don't know if somebody could do some magic with this and just use the bottom part for like a dress. Like, oh, it's so pretty. You know, I am not, I don't sew, I'm not good with that stuff. It has like the oldest vintage tag, like union tag. Let's see if I can, I know. If you look up union tags, this is the one that's like, from like the 50s 60s i think 
the one with like the blue and I don't know. If, if you know vintage, you've seen it. But I was like, oh, it's so old. I have to. I don't know. Don't know what I'm gonna do about this, but we'll see. So yeah, that is bag one. Bag two is right next to me here. <laughs> oh, I have some hats. Okay, so this one definitely looks vintage. It says it's made in Taiwan. It works. I, I'm not good with hats. I don't wear hats. It's got this like big floppy bow thing on <laughs> I don't know. I thought this was fun. It's very like chic. And it's like a patent leather around this. I don't know. I like it. Another hat. This one's kind of... Oh, this is definitely vintage. Brand. I'm trying to like Dore exclusive. I don't like it needs to be reshaped, I think. I think it's been in the bag too long, but it's, it's a purple hat. I think the oh yeah, the outside is like a a wire, so it can be reshaped. Just have to figure something out. I think I have one more hat, but I don't know. Hopefully it's not in the bottom and like totally crushed. Oops. Alright, this dress. That was just cute, kind of classic pinup style. It's polka dots, it's got red. Um, another brand that I don't know, Big Yo Collection? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's lined, it looks like it's like a quality dress. But yeah, I don't know anything else about it. Yeah, hopefully style alone will sell it. Polka dots usually do pretty good for me. Um, how are you? This I didn't realize was in such rough shape until I got back, because I remember it was on the top, and I was like, oh, this is very, like, Y2K. This super lucky cat. I don't know if you guys remember this tag. And this cute little shirt, but the, I didn't realize it was, like, completely open. I might see if my mom can sew this up. Just so I can, like recoup my my money <laughs> yeah that one's that one's up the best um another thing that i didn't realize was in such rough shape was this kipling purse it's like very cracked yeah i don't know it's i mean it's got the little dude on it which is usually the kipling purses don't have these so if i can find another kipling purse and that doesn't have one and just put this guy on it maybe that'll recoup um yeah so this is Kate Spade but I'm no good at like authenticating so this is Kate Spade right there it's just a black purse um I've never picked up a fake purse from this place before it has the Kate Spade in there um it says it's made in China but I know that's not always like a breaking point like purses can be made in China. I know it's just like that like nylon-y sort of material. And I know it's not like a super high-end thing but let's figure basic black purse. We'll see. I'll have to check that out more. Uh, this is a vintage like lace-up. Like it's got that disco collar. The disco collar is like the pointed collar and it's lace-up and it's yellow all things that I love. Um, I want to say it is definitely 70s. This tag, Ellen Tracy, says 11, 12. Um, doesn't see what it's made out of. It feels kind of like like a cotton linen, but there's no materials tag. But this could be like super, super sexy because it like laces all the way down to like, like your middle of your stomach. So I like that a lot. Are we another new with tags item? Oh, it's Zara. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This oh, this is a newer okay, tinsel size so small. New with tags Zara like a tunic or a mini dress. It's got these little like beaded pockets. Just black long sleeves. Zara does well for me. I love Zara. <laughs> um, where are we? What are we? What are we? 
This has got like a like an O-ring zipper pull. <laughs> say like 90s Y2K for this but I don't know. it's got like some little sequins it doesn't have any size or materials or whatever tags oh wait it does <laughs> um I lied G-I-R-D-E-A-R Gert Gerdier Year. I don't know. The tag is like half in some sort of kanji Chinese. I don't know. I don't know. It's a cute little brown shirt. I will, you guys will probably laugh at me, but I, I use the tag Goblin Core for a lot of things like this, like brown, like earth tones with little shiny things. Goblin Core. It's different than cottage core. Cottage core is more pretty and girly, but still kind of earthy. But goblin core is more like dirty. <laughs> it's like they're very similar. They're like cousins, but the kids on Depop do look for the goblin core tag. Just so you know. Like this could technically be goblin core too, because just the color. Um, I don't know what this is. Alex Mill Wash and Go. It's a. Uh, is this linen? It feels like linen. I pick up a lot of linen. Yeah, 100% linen. So, it's a nice linen piece. I've been trying to list all my linen in the summer. Let's see, what are you? Wilfred. So, this is Wilfred. I don't know if this is the Aritzia Wilfred. Is that just Wilfred free? I don't know. This is like an off-shoulder black top, size medium. Um, I have sold, yeah, it looks like a nice tag. It's one of those that is like connected like that. Um, yeah. Oh, it says it's 100% linen as well. I don't know. Is this Aritzia or not? Wilfred. What are we? What are we? Oh, this is just a basic, uh, like, 90s vintage, like, crisscross sort of striped top. Kind of basic. This would have been cute for 4th of July, but it's uh, Agnes B. of Paris. It's made in France. So it's a size 3. I don't know what that means. It looks very small, so I would list it as a small. This is a, okay, so this is Land's End, but it's like a rain jacket, like a windbreaker. It's really nice, actually, like, I usually don't pick up Land's End as well, but this is a nice piece. Um, it says it's a medium. Yeah. Land's End. Hopefully I can get, you know, it does have a style on it, so maybe I can look it up. So yeah, that's cute. That'd be a good, like, fall jacket, I guess. This, oh yes, um, this is Saks Fifth Avenue. It says it's 99%. Well, this might go to the real real. It's just a black skirt with these belt, like, these buckles on it. It also is kind of, like, goth, goth inspired. <laughs> what is the tag? size 4. Oh my god, everything is so wrinkly. <laughs> this is J. Jill. J. Jill Extra Large. Um, it's like a wine red uh, top with these buttons. I, don't, I forget what you call these buttons with like the little string. They're like a... You see them in a lot of like Asian stuff. Um, so it's 100% rayon. Super wrinkled, like everything else. Oh, this is uh, United Colors of Benetton. This is a, I'm pretty sure it's a vintage piece. I don't even think they're in business anymore, but it's just a basic brown skirt. <clears throat> yeah, this could also be Goblin Core. You know, maybe not as much since it's a skirt, but oh, here's that other hat. 
I really liked this hat, so this is a vintage Liz Claiborne, like 80s label hat. This little leg is very, very crumpled. Oh man. I don't know. Maybe my head's just too big for hats. I don't know. I don't wear hats. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Oh, this was a cute skirt. This is like a very 80s looking skirt with that like yoke on the top. Um, it's got like carpenter loops, so it's like a carpenter skirt. Um, the brand is called Fade Out. It says that it's made in France. Definitely looks like at least vintage 90s. There's a little tag on it. it says new man. New man. New man. Okay. Whatever. I don't know. This is cute. Uh, what we left? Let me get some. Okay, yes. I picked this up. It's not a great brand, but the jacket was so cute. It's Atmosphere, which is like JCPenney or something. I don't know. But it's embroidered floral jacket. It's really pretty. It's just like an oversized like utility jacket. Yeah. It's cool. And one more. One more. One more. Eileen Fisher. Size medium. Button up shirt. Nothing too exciting. You know. It's Eileen Fisher. <laughs> Let's see. Does it have... What is it? Is silk and cotton. Okay, well, silk is good. It's just like this pretty greenish color. But that is my giant haul. Um, if you watched it all, thank you so much. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going back to this place today. <laughs> so um, it depends. Like, every, I go every other week, um, I have this connection. This lady that I met on Craigslist years ago, years ago, and I go to her house every other week. She has a lot of stuff to pick through, um, and I get a really good deal. So that's why I end up with so much stuff, and yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, if you've seen like my office, it's yeah. I am working on it though. I got four new bins, four new 26 gallon bins at Lowe's the other day. I filled them all. I still have some stuff. I know if you've watched my last video, I showed you my mound over here. It's less of a mound. I can like put my hand this way and I'm not touching things. So that is progress. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all getting lots of sales this month. Um, and I'll see you later.